<laughs> I remember my first video. Good morning, party people. Welcome to something new for the channel here. This is Johnny. Johnny and I, uh, tell the people, how did we meet? Um, oh, we met a long time ago. We met through just friends, mutual friends. Yeah, um, we both grew up in, in the music scene on the coast. Johnny was actually in the bands and I was the guy watching and judging from the crowd. So, um, judge me pretty hard. Yeah, <laughs> still do. <laughs> yep. So Johnny I I had the idea here and we, we talk about music every day. We have a little like group chat where we talk about all the different stuff that's coming out and we thought that this could be a really good opportunity to, for me to share with you guys my music because I obviously share on Instagram through my Spotify playlists and stuff but a lot of that comes from conversations that we have together. We talk a lot of, a lot of crap through the day about music. Yeah, and we thought we'd go through and do some of these reaction videos. So this is the first. I've never done this before. So hopefully it works. We've set everything up. We've got oh, the JBL goodness. headphones. I know. Yeah. It's so sweet. So what are we starting with here? We are starting with Enter Shikari, The Dreamers Hotel. Both huge fans of the band. Mm, um, yeah. Personally, I wasn't the hugest fan of the last album, but I'm loving this one. Really excited to watch this. So we have listened to the song before. I'm just going to give that a caveat to start yeah, with. But yeah, this, this album already, I can tell you guys, you have to check it out. This is It's a return of form for these guys. Not that I personally liked the last album. I thought it was a bit more of a pop driven album. Um, this new album has all of the elements of Shikari as the, like, it's the most eclectic band. It's just, and every listen, there's just always something else. And I definitely recommend listening to it with headphones. Yeah. It's just insane. And if you're going to do that, these are the ones you want to get. This is the live. <laughs> you accidentally did a product placement there, but this is the, <laughs> the, the live um, from JBL. These are like my go-to working headphones. The sound quality in these is amazing. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. You can yes. put them on now. I've, I've been holding out for this one. <laughs> okay, we good? We good. Three, two, one. take something before this or yeah that actually the clip when that first started i genuinely thought i was like oh, is my internet playing up here when like the yeah, special effects yeah, yeah, came yeah. in uh i mean 
that matches them. It's eclectic. That's just them, isn't it? Yeah. It's the, just the, the thing that got me straight away. As soon as he's out of bed and he's just dancing. Uh, as soon as he took it off, and I was like, "Damn, that's a nice jumper." Yeah, cool. Huh? I need more Nike number. Um, he's just a charismatic little fella, isn't he? It's a cool he's thing with the so band cool. as well. The fact that like that, you can see they've come into their own. He's always been like very front and center, but he's like the the front man that didn't want to be front and center. But he's yeah. like coming to own it a little bit more and more. And they're all such performers. And like that's the like watching that. That's why like we've seen them live like, yeah. heaps of times. Countless and they, they times. are just that energetic on stage, and it's really cool. And like it's just like you said, they've come in their own. Like they started as kind of like a gimmick, I think, with the with the electronic yeah. and hardcore. And people wrote them off, and they just got bigger and bigger. And this is just the perfect mix of everything they do for me. Imagine how good that's gonna be live. Like the fact that they always like sample themselves and change up their tempos. Like there's so many things in there that I can go like they could make that double time or yeah. like half step that really change it up yeah. but there's not really like a breakdown or such in there no there's just that half time bit that really sort of like pulls you in especially after after that vocal part yeah and then, and the dude in the back you're like meanwhile I think that's it's really cool though, like the special effects that really added oh, to so it I think sick. having the all like the stone statue looking things that were very yeah I, I guarantee you that if they're releasing videos like this their live show oh the lighting is going to be insane. It's that's going to be a party. That's what I think that Johnny's saying. We've seen them so many times. And honestly, this is a band that you cannot have a bad time at one of their shows. The thing that Shikari do is they do remix and, and change up their set lists dramatically. So you think you know a bit's coming to a song. And all of a sudden, it's another song. And they've just skipped over that beat that you were expecting. But then it'll come back in another song. Mm. And the, like, that was eclectic. It was great. I, actually, I think the first time I ever saw them was with you. And I wasn't a huge fan. I just I only liked a little bit. Was that and when they were supported by Let Live? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, because we'd seen them at Soundway. Yeah, yeah, and then we saw them in that. It was in that big warehouse at Soundway. Yeah, and I was just like, woo. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's it's, a, it's an experience. I'm, <laughs> I'm on board. Yeah, no, it was it was really sick. They're great. His voice is amazing now as well. He's just improved as a musician like because yeah. like, when you first listen to like the earlier stuff he was like a heavy vocalist yeah but he can sing as well as he like some of the other songs on your album where you can see the flaws that go from like that like clean oh, singing yeah. into the deep big angry bits yeah yeah and i suggest if if it's still floating around on youtube people check out their live stream from the like the whatever it was coronavirus at home oh yeah yeah, yeah. Was, i think i actually saw oh. that on here there was something about it it was amazing it was so good um Oh, yeah, his vocals cool. were just insane. And then, yeah, then they finished off with um, uh, a heavier song, and I was just like, ooh. He's back. Well, he's got it. He's got oh, it. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to keep this one really nice and short for these ones, but um, I 100% recommend checking out the album. Um, it's called Nothing Is True and Everything Is Possible. Possible. Yeah. yeah nice. uh, 10 out of 10, would recommend. It's, it's on my most played albums right now, and yeah. it's already a contender for Album of the Year for me. Definitely. Which, Mm. All right, stay guys, stay golden. We'll speak to you guys next. Meanwhile, back at the Dreamers Hotel, five stars and rose colored windows. Back at the Dreamers Hotel, five stars and courtesy disco. <laughs>